Are we working? All right. You recorded? Yeah. Welcome to the channel, everybody. Today we have this DD15 engine that is completely open. And the reason why I wanted to show you this DD15 engine is because this engine suffered a big damage and it's an engine block damage after a connecting rod got released out of the engine block. If you come this side, you're gonna see uh, the connecting rod very visible. This is supposed to be inside, not outside. And the engine block has a crack. Let me get the flow, the phone flashlight so you can see it. The, connect, the engine block has a crack. Thing is very visible. And it goes all the way up. And, and you can clearly see the hole here, right? Uh, that doesn't supposed to happen. If you, if you ask me, this is something that you don't have to see on your truck. And if you see it, that means that your truck is completely destroyed. The engine is completely destroyed. And in the interior of the cylinder, this is the way it looks. That is the cylinder and the piston. You don't need to be a specialist to know that this piston is destroyed. But you can see some clear marks on the pistons. You can see the engine balls that are touching, they were touching the the piston. You can see on this side, right here, there, you can see the mark of the piston, the, of the of the head ball, and there too, you can see the head ball on the piston. And that over there, that is normal. The one over there, that's supposed to be for the J brake. So this engine block is destroyed. Uh, there is no way to use to reuse it or to repair it. We have a crack engine block, broken cylinder liner, destroyed piston, completely destroyed um, connecting rod, and also the bottom area, which is the oil pump and the tubes, the transfer tubes for the oil, they were destroyed too because the connecting rod, when it dropped, it kept on bouncing left and right until the engine got stopped. So. Uh, you probably wonder how a problem like this happened. This is a big problem, this is a big situation. And how to prevent a problem like this? Um, well, how it happened, simply, the driver didn't pay attention, the driver actually um, applied the ground gear, and on the way, when he, apply, he applied the ground gear, uh, he destroyed the clutch too, the clutch is completely burned out. He, he overheated the clutch because he tried to the best probably he he didn't um, he has not he had no experience going downhill or probably he didn't uh, the he didn't uh, pay attention to the road he was he, he, he was going he was traveling and that happened and he was going downhill on a very high speed and he couldn't stop the truck on time so he tried to reduce the the, the the, the speed with the brakes and he couldn't so he started using gears and at the end he destroyed the clutch he destroyed the engine and basically that um, there is nothing to do to repair I mean this is a big expense to do because now this engine block uh, has to be replaced with a different one with a used one uh, we have to get new pistons new connecting rods new crankshaft and everything or the easiest way will be to get a used engine that will be the cheapest because you getting a used engine will be uh, uh, very economical comparing repairing the engine but of course right we don't know what kind of engine we're gonna get when, you, when we get a used engine um, how to prevent problems like this simply just pay attention pay attention to the roads where you're traveling if for any reason you are going downhill don't expect to lower the speed when you're going downhill. That is not going to work. You have to lower the speed when before you're going, you're going to take that hill down. So that is going to prevent over speed when you're going down and that will save your engine. That will prevent problems like this to happen on your engine. And it is not the first video I show you about engine block damage. I have other videos talking about the same problem. Engine Engine, engine block damage because someone didn't pay attention going downhill. This also happened for other reasons, like if the connecting rod bearing get damaged all the time, probably it can start making noise and then it will shoot the connecting rod cap out. That's 
uh, that's something that can happen. But it is not that common uh, then that happens unless you hear a noise. You're gonna hear a noise before something starts happening on your engine, and then you go, you have to do something about it. You have to prevent the problem. But anyway, um, I would say then if you are a truck driver, if you're a truck owner, um, and you or you have companies. I always recommend your drivers to lower the speed, or you always lower the speed when you go before you're going downhill, so that way you can prevent problems because you don't know what kind of things you can encounter going downhill, and um, and the price you have to pay is very expensive because now we're talking about probably a new engine, labor, clutch, and everything is gonna cost around like. 15 to 20 thousand dollars with all the parts included engine mouse clutch uh, gaskets uh, uh, oil coolant and other components that were destroyed because the power steering pump was destroyed too um, uh, the engine harness was destroyed too so we had to install a new harness so all those components including those components probably is going to be like probably like between 15 to 20 thousand dollars to cover the whole expense that is expensive, no matter in what situation you are. But um, as always, you know, it's better to prevent these problems by always taking it easy when you're driving. These are heavy trucks and they are very hard to stop when a situation uh, is needed. So anyway, uh, this is all I wanted to talk about, uh, a problem with an engine block. And probably this not will be my last video talking about engine problems. Um, with uh, uh, probably this not probably this will not be the last video talking about engine problems. Then probably this not be my last video talking about engine blocks. Then are damaged because uh, miss at uh, because the driver didn't pay attention or just simply because the circumstances uh, couldn't prevent the driver by uh, doing this. So. Uh, just check my channel if you want to see the other content I have about engine block damages and other engine repairs that I have too. I have many different repairs about DD15 engines. Um, be sure to go to Instagram to see other things that I'm doing. Look for me as Francisco Maya YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and share it. And thank you for watching.